What's going on YouTube? Flip here again with another uh, DIY by request. Um, my last video had a uh, do-it-yourself moving bed filter that I had running for a... Uh, it's been a while now. I only have one. I did have two. Um, I took one down because I made it kind of larger than the rest of them. Really didn't think about it. But uh, this is pretty simple. I went to the dollar store and bought all the materials you need for it except for airline tubing and uh, some scraps that I actually had sitting around the house and um, in my Drunk Tank Aquaria contest entry video I was talking about scraps in the beginning on how things are uh, pretty valuable even if it's like a half inch or a, a two inch piece or whatever it is uh, this piece right here this is a piece of hard rigid tubing um, you know they usually comes in about 18 inch pieces you can buy them in three foot pieces sometimes um, but this is just one I cut because I had to go in a you know a short tank and this was just some scrap left over so I threw it in the pile um, I got some straws here I got about a hundred and eighty of them here Let's see. dollar store you know one buck this water bottle uh, this is one of those kitty water bottles see here it's got this this one I got in particular because it has a piece of tubing in it already and it kind of runs down so I was going to use that to my advantage um, this was a dollar two as well so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to try to do this one handed I'm going to show you guys I've already drilled holes I'll show you where I drilled the holes and, and why I drilled them um, I've already cut the straw it's kind of like a cooking show guys you know these guys really can't whip all that shit together in like 10 minutes with all the commercials and stuff uh, so they got some prep work going on and I did some prep work um, you need some suction cups and when you have the suction cups make sure they have the nubs on the back like this and what you're gonna have to do is find a drill bit just quite smaller than that um, so you can stick these in and use them to attach to the side of your tank I already have one attached there as you can see all I did was drill a hole like that one there so I drilled two so I can stick it to the side if you do one guys the things gonna you know with the air coming in it it's gonna pull away from the tank and do that so the more um, that you have on there the better so I just put two I only could find two actually I would put three but these two will work just fine um, one at top one at bottom you know to support it I mean it's definitely gonna be upside down in the tank so let me show you at first I have to uh, I don't think this one-handed thing's gonna work I might have to set you guys down it's definitely what I have to do because I gotta do a lot of explaining here but um let's see if I can get a good view there we go I'm gonna take the lid off here and as you can see it's just a uh, a tubing that comes in so I'm gonna take my scissors like I need here and basically this is gonna be upside down in the tank like this so we want the air to come in from the bottom to get some good flow so I just want to cut that off basically you know I got a little bit of a, a nipple right here but this right here don't throw this away you might be able to use this for something I'll explain that later um, maybe not in this project but something else um, and that's that and what I had done you got this little top here just pop the lid off you can throw that in the trash unless you could find a use for it I don't think I can so that's garbage and this is where the tubing comes through basically you would suck on this like a straw you know in a, in a water bottle I drilled one two three four holes um, and that's for air to come through or for water to come through actually um, I've also got this valve here which you can hook up to the outside. You can actually use this to connect if that's all you had, if you didn't have any tubing. But um, that's what I did to the top piece there. And that's it. You're going to hook your airline tubing into this somewhere or another. And if you didn't have this particular bottle, any water bottle will work or any type of bottle, uh, square, circle, whatever it is, just make sure it fits in your tank, the height wise and everything. You want the bubbles to flow all the way through. But this one was just pretty simple. If you didn't, you know, drill a hole stick your piece of airline tubing in and that's what you got ingenuity you know but this work was pretty much prepped for me and it's got a nice little seal in there but I got four holes there put that to the side and this is my water bottle um, I drilled two holes in the back here for the suction cups one and two this one's already installed and in the bottom I have one hole two hole three hole four hole so four holes in the bottom or this would be the top but the bottom if you were to buy it normally so what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw the two together and I'm going to show you a quick demonstration on how these work um, basically the air goes in and 
it comes up and creates uplift of the water. So water is drawn through your bottom holes here and your air bubbles shoot out the top holes that you drilled in and water follows it. So what you do is you take your straws, take this lid off, I already cut some straws up like you guys seen earlier, I'm going to throw them in here, but there's something important about these that I have to tell you before um, you guys go ahead and cut them up. When you cut them up, they're going to fly all over the place, obviously, so uh, what I did was try to, I took the bowl and I held the straw in and kind of held it below the surface and cut it, hopefully it would go in there, a lot of them flew all over the place. But another important thing about these is the hole. When you go to cut it, make sure there's a hole on both ends. I will show you examples. This will happen to most of the straws you cut. You'll get a few of these in there. They kind of crimp on the ends. Um, this is a no-go. You see this side's good, but this side's crimped from cutting. So all you do is you pop it open. And you can stick that in your tank. Or not in your tank, in your filter. Just make sure that the water can flow through it. And basically, these things are going to float right off the bat. Um, your water is just going to you know, flow through. Um, and these things are going to be sitting at the top until they get bacteria in them, enough bacteria in them, to um, sink. And once they start to sink, the bubbles will raise, and you know, and you, you'll see the effect like in my previous video. So, I definitely didn't cut enough media for this, but just to show the, you know, the reason. And you got your nub. Stick your nub in the hole. <laughs> And usually what I find out this, if you stick it in there and twist it, it pretty much goes in. And I got you know, my, my two pieces there and that. Now this is where you're, uh, instead of having one long tube sticking through, I mean you could do that if you drilled your hole and you didn't have one of these. You can just drill a hole and stick your long piece in there and then hook that to your air pump. But since I'm simple, um, pretty much I have all kinds of scrap. This is what this scrap is good for. This is just going to be my mending piece. You can take a bunch of these. If you have cut up airline tubing and a bunch of these pieces just from scrap, you can make a 20 foot section, just depending on how much of it you had. So I can connect this piece to any other piece. So there we go. Now I have a um, my soft airline tubing on the other end, and I will hook it up to this end and put it in the tank. I will show you guys that here in just a second. All right, check that out. A little uh, engraving machine thing that I was messing with. But, uh, here's the uh, tank I'm gonna put it in. I got the sponge filter turned down because uh, I've got the top lid off. And check that out. I seen a video, somebody said that uh, it was their idea. It's a good idea, it's just called ingenuity really. But, Here's my uh, filter, what I'm going to do, this has been rinsed out and dried. i let it fill up with water. As you can see, everything's floating, the straws are. I'll add more straws later, I never really uh, looked into how many I needed, but you basically want to fill this up about a third of the way with the straws, I mean that'll be plenty, I can add more at, at a different time. But I'm going to take this, let me see if I can do this again and show you guys, because I really can't do this one handed. Try to do it down underneath so you guys see it. There's my air. Whoa, look at that. Eight, and the bottle goes up. I dry my hand off real quick. I don't want to ruin this camera. And route this the way I want it to sit. Sorry, guys. <laughs> One handed drunkenness, right? But basically, and there she blows. Now I could just tuck the wires in, you know, make it look great and hide it all away. But that's basically what you got, man. Just imagine a lot more straws in it, but I mean, super simple. You see, some of them are falling already. And as they get the bacteria in it, they'll, uh, it it'll do nothing but, you know, uh, biological filtration. Um, I imagine you could figure out a way to uh, do some mechanical in there, but this is probably the best way to do it right here, um, just for biological. Um, you can run a tank like this, but to be doing a lot of water changes, there'll be a lot of stuff in it, but it would be really good with a uh, sponge filter, mechanical filtration, one of those. But there it is, uh, by request, uh, Aquaman, 
he uh, asked me about this in one of my other videos and it'll probably be a couple weeks guys just depending on how dirty your tank is how, how your bio load is um, how far that this will um, start to you know how long it'll take for the straws to drop but I'm gonna add more to this and this is gonna be you know just another biological filter if I need to stick this in a quarantine tank I could do that um, after you know it gets uh, pretty much cycled which it won't be and you'll know it cycled once it starts to drop all of it drops it'll start to turn brown but the cool thing about it is is you wanna um, you can do different color straws you know you can make a little cool little design I've also done this with power heads um, you know bigger tubing I hooked the power up to power head up to this you know kept the power head in the back somewhere hooked it up through the tubing you know wide tubing drilled a big hole and stuck it in there just to get your flow and um, and then all you don't really have to draw any holes through the other end. You can just drill a massive amount of holes on this end just to get the flow going, and that stuff swirls around. I had a, I had one in a 20 long actually. It was this one when it used to be on my dresser, and uh, it was just a little big for my liking, but it was a great filter. But there it is, uh, a do-it-yourself moving bed filter, really cheap. Um, this cost me two bucks, so you know, go to your dollar store. There it is.